So you want to start making your own synths. Good news, it's easy. Just open up your synth and... Okay, maybe it's not that easy. But you know what was even harder than this? Trying to learn this. Back in the day, if you wanted to learn how to do sound design and synthesis, you had to have one of these monstrosities. And I'm also pretty sure that you had to sacrifice a goat under the full moon to learn how to use it. But luckily for us, modern software synths have made the ancient art of synthesis much easier. Mostly because instead of just staring at knobs and wires, you can actually see what you're doing. And yes, all of those pretty lights and shiny movie things look pretty damn cool. So at the very least, with these new synthesizers, you'll feel like a pro sound designer. Yes! And out of all of the flashy looking synths that are out there, one named Serum might be the king of sweet doohickeys and cool thingamajigs. And it just got an upgrade, which I think makes it even better. Today I'm going to show you why Serum 2.0 is the best synth that you can use to learn sound design, even if you have no idea what you're doing. Before this new release of Serum 2.0, the original Serum was the synthesizer that I recommended most to producers trying to get into sound design. And that's for three reasons. One, it's easy to understand. Ever think to yourself, what waveform am I hearing on my synth? How about the only one that's on? But how do I change that waveform? How about clicking the arrows? What if I want to add multiple waveforms? Turn on multiple waveforms. But what about this thing? What does this do? Every time I play a note, there's a suspicious white dot that comes up. I wonder if it shapes the sound as I play it. Sure enough, yes it does. It makes figuring out what's happening auditorily so much easier when you can visually understand it. Reason number two, drag and drop modulation. Serum has this really cool feature where you can drag and drop any of these features onto the other one so that it will modulate it. We can take that same envelope that I had before, turn on this filter here, and drag and drop it over the cutoff. Now, anytime I play, you can see the filter moving to the same place as that envelope. If I adjust the envelope, you can see the filter change. Look at that thing. And the third reason I like Serum is because of presets. If you're just getting started with sound design, you can go through a huge library of stock presets that it has. All you have to do is load in one you think sounds cool, and then reverse engineer it to see why it actually sounds cool. It's also an added benefit that I think Serum has the biggest community of people making tutorials and presets for it than any other synth. This guy's pretty good. And that means if you can't find the stock preset you're looking for in the sound library, chances are very high that you can find it on YouTube or maybe in some random preset pack that you torrented from Pirate Bay. Serum has always done a great job of making synthesis easy to understand for beginners, but with this latest update, it takes it to the next level. They've added more oscillators, more effects, more filter types, more presets, more types of synthesis, and a whole lot more doohickeys and doodads. And aren't doodads all what we're looking for in a synth? But all these additions make the synth even better to start learning sound design. Let me show you some of my favorite features it's added. Starting off with sampler and granular synthesis. With the sampler and granular synthesis addition, you can put in your own samples to start using them in Serum. Serum 2 also comes with a bunch of new factory presets that you can load in right away. That means you can take this beautiful sound and play it anywhere on the keyboard. You can put it through an envelope, you can put it through filters, and you can also process it with FX like you would any other synth. And if one sample wasn't enough for you, you can now drag multiple samples into the multi-sampler editor. Just imagine the amount of beautiful leadles you can make with this. This means you can even play the drum kit in Serum if you want to. But Serum 2 doesn't just stop there. It's also got a bunch of newly designed LFO tools to help with the sound creation process. Although you might think LFO stands for Little Freaky Oboe, it unfortunately doesn't. It stands for Low Frequency Oscillator. Basically, an LFO is a slow moving wave that makes your sound do wobbly things. That's it, that's the science. You can sync it to the beat and then customize it to your heart's content. And Serum 2 also lets you do a bunch more cool things with that. Sure, you can do some normal things like adding some cool wubs. But now you can also draw your own shapes like this. Or like this. Well, it looks like it says subscribe. Hmm. 
That's weird. There's also a new chaos feature that if you watch for too long, will hypnotize you into being Skrillex. Actually, that LFO is not for hypnotizing, but in fact, more for randomizing, which I dig. Serum 2 also comes loaded with a brand new selection of presets and sounds that sound really good. There's a ton of sounds to choose from and they've even upgraded the browser so that you can preview the sounds before you actually choose them. And in seconds, you can become a synth genius just by loading a preset. You don't have to know what little freaky oboes are, oscillators, none of that. And if you find a synth that you like, just like the original, you can reverse engineer it to see what makes it click. Serum 2 also comes with a bunch of new effects that you can add in the effects knob. It also comes with this brand new mixer window so that you can bust reverbs and a bunch more possibilities. But I don't want to get caught up too in the weeds. As for some of these new features and how to use them, that probably best saved for its own dedicated dedicated in-depth tutorial video. If you want to see that video, go say freaky little oboe in the comments. That'll let me know that you might actually want to learn how to drive this thing. And it will also confuse people that click on the video. <laughs> Serum 2 is in the words of my grandpa, pretty darn snazzy. It's visual, it's got a bunch of different synthesis types, its presets sound great, and it's loaded with doohickeys and doodads. It's probably the best synth that you can use to start learning sound design even if you know nothing about it. If you do want to dive further down the sound design rabbit hole, you can watch this video I made up here, which details how to get started with it with the original serum.